so uh, as a cooperative extension specialist, we listen to the needs of the public. And in California, people are interested in wildfire, they're interested in water, and the other thing that reverberates across the whole state is cannabis. The most intriguing thing about researching cannabis is that it's being treated unlike any other agricultural crop. And what's going to be really interesting is if under the regulations, the history of cannabis, if we can come up with a new model of agriculture that's great for people and nature. I grew up in Humboldt County, uh, which is known for its cannabis production. It's part of the Emerald, the Emerald Triangle. Um, and um, so I was sort of aware of, of cannabis and, and the community I grew up in. But it wasn't until I became a research scientist much later in life that I started thinking about what um, uh, what the impacts of cannabis might be for the environment um, and realizing that there were other scientists and social scientists on campus who were exploring these questions it just became a natural focus of our research especially given um, the uh, sort of the policy relevance at this particular moment um, in California. There's tremendous interest in, in, in cannabis across the board in society, and uh, everybody has an opinion <laughs> about cannabis one way or the other. Uh, what's really missing, however, is um, you know, unbiased scholarship on, on the topic. Um, we, we really don't know very much about cannabis, how it's produced, where it's produced, who's producing it, the environmental impacts, um, the medical impacts. And so there's a tremendous need for uh, research institutions like, like UC to step into this role um, and, and provide the, the information that's really needed to inform educated debates and, and, and sound policy.